Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Rebel Chunks channel. Today we are gonna do a full in-depth review of the DV3 lightsaber. I don't think you guys need an introduction for this particular lightsaber. We all know what it is and whose lightsaber it is, of course. Um, let me show off some specs while I'm holding it for you guys and talk about it. This is a limited run lightsaber. Um, it may or may not be sold out by now already when this video is up. But if it is, um, it might be that there will be another run uh, from Wonder Force slash Ultimate Works or uh, there will be another lightsaber released by them very soon, another limited uh, edition lightsaber design, uh, because they making these awesome movie replica lightsabers and uh, this one is beautiful. So without further ado and you guys listening to me japping around and keep talking and being annoying, let's go to the close up view now. We're gonna delve right into the nitty gritty of what you get when you purchase this lightsaber. Um, we start with the awesome box. I already took out everything that you get in the box so we can easily and fast go over all these pieces because there's quite a lot of things that you get with this hilt. Uh, first of all, you get a beautiful blade pluck here and this is a really nice showstopper as you can see. Really beautiful, nice and shiny. All my fingerprints are already on this hilt. I'm really sorry for that guys. I don't have any special glass at the moment. Um, nice hole in the middle so the light can shine through really nicely and uh, you will wonder like oh but what if I install NeoPixel then we have no light shining through this blade plug. Well actually that's the really nice thing about it. Uh, this, this whole set there's actually something included that will gonna help you. So um, a really cool pommel design. I really like it. It's um, it's nice and flat and it has this nice raised, raised section on the side. I, I think it really adds some really cool value to it. It really has some Count Dooku-esque feel to it for me personally. And then the NeoPixel uh, people, that's uh, wondering like, how can I light up this uh, blade plug that's included? Well, actually, um, they have been super kind to us to actually include this NeoPixel uh, PCB or connector that you put on the bottom of the hilt of the lightsaber to connect your light, um, NeoPixel blade. And these uh, little connectors actually include three little LEDs in RGB. So whatever your color you set your lightsaber to, red, green, blue, whatever you set it on the soundboard, um, that actually will reflect on these little uh, um, LEDs on the board itself. So when you put your blade plug in the hilt, it will actually shine the color of the preference through it. And that's really nice, I like that. That's included in your set, so that's really thoughtful. And uh, I wanted to showcase it to you guys. It also comes with this acrylic um, ring here. This is basically a holder for the uh, NeoPixel PCB. Uh, uh, you see, it, it, it fits perfectly in there, nice and floss. And basically that's gonna hold the blade is going to be on top of that with the NeoPixel uh, connector on the blade side and it's just going to ignite and work like that. And it's really cool that you have these little RGB LEDs on the side. Really cool. What else we got? We got a whole bunch of spare screws and uh, retention screws and I see a spring in there and an O-ring. And everything you basically need to build this lightsaber and maintain all the pieces. and. Uh, some extra spares just in case you lose some because that sometimes happens, right? And then we have a nice little stand that's included that is a custom fit for this hilt design. So your hilt will be nicely and snugly on this really cool uh, included saber stand. And this weird cylinder type of thing that you see in front of me, yeah, that's actually part of the um, the uh, blade holder. It's for blade holder from <laughs> these, or I'm, I'm a bit flabbergasted here, uh, from this acrylic uh, saber stand. So. Uh, how it works is you have these little uh, cylindrical pieces on the side, you unscrew them, you screw them through the hole and it basically uh, sandwiches in between this big cylinder and this is how you tighten up and it just, it's it's really neat design, I like that. It's, it's also included, so that's really cool, you get so many stuff in this uh, set. And then a plaque, uh, SW for Star Wars, uh, Episode 3, uh, Revenge of the Sith, DV3 and uh, it says Custom Saber Series. Um, it has a plastic uh, uh, protector on that, so don't worry about scratches. There are no scratches on the actual plaque. It's just uh, the, the plastic is a bit messed up um, because I've been playing with it the whole time. And then we have the uh, actual uh, connector piece for the uh, uh, switch activation uh, of, of what you normally put on the lightsaber itself. And that's also included. You can see really nice design, um, accurate to the movie. 
I really like this pattern, really different and uh, make this lightsaber really loved and unique by so many people. And now we're going to directly to what we, we come here for, of course. This is the actual lightsaber. It's just amazing. It's so shiny. It has a nice heft to it. It just feels good in the hand. It feels like it comes directly out of the movie. And uh, we're gonna talk about this entire thing in a close up. So we're gonna take the emitter really close to your nose and we're gonna start talking about it. And uh, we're gonna focus the camera. And here we go. So we have a really nice black emitter, really nice black. Uh, piano black, I would say. Nice blocky uh, design. Now, I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, very in-depth knowledgeable about the exact cues designs of this hilt and why it was designed in this way by the makers of this uh, hilt design for the movie. So I can't give you all the movie facts, but uh, from what I see and feel, this is just an amazing design and it's very accurate to what you see in the movie. Um, we have a deep blade a socket, of course, because there's nothing in there at the moment because this kit is meant for people to purchase themselves and install the electronics as they desire or find a saber smith that can install the electronics for them. Uh, we have these really cool greeblies that are um, actually screwing in so you can unscrew them and um, you can glue them in as well. But I like the greeblies actually having uh, threads so they thread in instead of just glue onto pieces um, because that is just more solid and it feels overall much better for the lightsaber and it's really cool because it's concaving with the roundness of the hilt so the, the hilt is round and these greeblies on the side they actually are um, made in a way that they sit flush around the uh, roundness of the hilt so they don't uh, stick out too much or have like things catching or latching on from the bottom as much as uh, some other lightsabers might have. Uh, we have some cool uh, design elements here. No idea what it means, but it looks dope to me. Mm -hmm. The control sections, which for me is a, is a really nice uh, uh, thing. I really love the control section on the uh, DV3. It just, I don't know, there's something really uh, interesting about this black um, clamp card system basically that it has. Um, as you hear that already it actually has activation switches underneath so you can com uh, configure it with the aux switch here and the main activation switch here. So when you put on the switch plate that's included with the set and you push the first button once you wired it up in your lightsaber of course then you will ignite the saber and the second one is for blaster effects or deflect sounds and whatnot auxiliary sounds you configure on the soundboard and you also do for the color changing and whatnot and uh, I like that. I like I like when you have a lightsaber that ignites from the actual uh, activation switch button instead of using the side button. I'm normally not super big fan of that. And actually, with some of the uh, Luke Skywalker hero lightsabers, you actually have that, and I'm not super keen on that. Um, I believe if you're really a one to and you're like crafty, you can actually do something with this as well and make this a functional button if you want. Uh, but it's not desired uh, initially for that. But I think with uh, some uh, smart people out there, they uh, they can definitely make that work. Um, the T-grips, nice, uh, hard, but yet soft. So like they're not like the brittle hard plastic that you find on the custom saber shop uh, or uh, Corbin Graflac kits. These are really nice, rubbery, rubbery feeling uh, T-grips. They really feel nice, to be honest. Like they, I, I can't really explain, but they definitely have this gummier feeling but not super gummy like they're not super soft at all like they're they're hard and firm but they're not ex extremely hard as like you can break a piece of it like it's just so brittle hard um, of course it comes with a uh, in this case with a cover tech wheel in this uh, in this uh, uh, this particular kit that we see here and then we have the pommel which is also again really unique it has a black insert here and it looks overall really nice and um, let me take off the pommel so we can take a closer look at the pommel itself. Put the hilt down for a second. And um, so this is the pommel. Really cool, it has uh, this, this design inside as well. Like they went that far to design this inside. Like how cool is that? I mean, that's really amazing. It has like multiple layers of design elements. Like they went that far to have this design in inside the pommel. 
um, yeah, they went really far to make a beautiful lightsaber for us. So this is the actual inside of the hilt, as you can see. A nice hollow, a lot of workspace for your 3D trip printer chassis or crystal review chamber. Uh, we have the treads on the bottom. So nice uh, and smooth treads, so it's easy to uh, tighten and undo the pommel. That's what I really like. And um, yeah, it's overall a very beautiful lightsaber. It's just a really, really beautiful piece to work with. And uh, I definitely recommend you guys checking out this lightsaber. I know there's so many people that love this particular hill design. They absolutely love this movie. Everybody, sorry to interrupt the review video like this, but if you are interested in picking up this lightsaber for yourself from the Path Store, you might want to consider getting $5 off by using my promo code REBELC. To use this code, you go to the pathstore.com website and you go to this lightsaber and you fill in the codes in your order details and you will get $5 off. I definitely recommend getting the $5 off. Let's go back to the review. So a lot of people have been born and raised on Revenge of the Sith and they just love this movie. They love this movie and uh, it's just amazing to see how many people just embrace this particular uh, movie. And yeah, then in this case, you definitely must have this lightsaber in your collection because it just embodies that particular movie so well. And it's just, it's just such a beautiful design. It's such a nice um, complement to the transition from Anakin Skywalker into Darth Vader. This transition lightsaber is just embodies that so well. Um, so I definitely recommend you guys to check it out. And let's go to the verdict. And welcome back guys. So I hope you like this overview video of this beautiful, beautiful DV3 lightsaber. Um, again, it just, it just has, all, it just checks all the boxes. Like it's a really solid lightsaber. It has a nice heft to it. It just feels really good in the hand. And it's just such an accurate version of the movie. And I love how it activates. Like it just, it just doesn't have like the big clamp cards. Um, uh, side lever sticking out just very elegant small piece sticking out and just how the um, the switches work underneath the activation switch uh, clamp card it just it just feels really good like it's a really nice solid lightsaber I love the uh, little details of the greeblies on the side it just it just makes this lightsaber really feels really complete and the emitter I can't get over it it's just the emitter itself looks it looks really awesome. It's like blocky, it's a bit unwieldy, and it's just exactly how Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber should be embodied. It's just that big, chunky lightsaber that we all know and love. And yeah, I definitely recommend you guys to check out uh, this lightsaber. Uh, the link is in the description. Um, these are limited edition lightsabers, so if they run out of stock, they run out of stock. But at least keep an eye on Ultimate Work slash Wonder Force. Uh, because they have so many lightsabers coming out from time to time with different hilt designs from the movies. All kinds of replicas uh, that we really want to see. So definitely put it in your favorites that uh, website and check it out. If it's out of stock, it might come back. And uh, if not, then there might be another hilt design that you really want to get from the original movies that they have a run of or upcoming. Um, so thank you for watching guys. Let me know in the comments what you think of this lightsaber. Do you own one? If you do, let me know what is your setup. I really be, be keen to know what you have and I will actually go over that on a live video where we're gonna comment some comments from you guys and discuss your lightsaber creations that you made of it. If you don't have it yet, um, let me know um, what kind of configuration you would like to have it installed with, like how would you set it up, like NeoPixel or Inhilt LED or not. I would love to know it. Thank you for watching and hopefully I see you in the next video. Take care and stay scummy.